Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so a lot of you guys want me to talk about the whole Cardi B versus Jermaine Dupri situation. As you guys all know, I got a chance to meet JD behind the scenes at Essence Fest. Well, I did growing up hip hop. And then, plus, I mean, all of my kids, they basically grown up hip hop. And I say all of my kids, I'm talking about Bow Wow, I'm talking about Brat, I'm talking about Escape, I'm talking all of these people, their kids um, grew up under hip hop. So, you know, JD, I will say this, he's a true musician, okay? He's a true uh, producer, writer. He does the whole gambit. He is so underrated in the industry. Like, I feel like he doesn't get enough props as far as, like, you know, production and all the groups that he put out there, all the rappers that he put out there, all the things that he did to change the industry, okay? Now, he did an interview with People Magazine, and basically they had asked him, you know, what female rappers is he into? You know, what does he like? Because we all know he, him and the brat are Ace Boom Coombs. They're day one. And he basically said that he feels like, you know, He's not really into any of these female rappers because they're just a bunch of strippers who just rap about, you know, the strip club. Like, there's nothing different between, you know, he didn't say their names, but, like, basically he's saying, like, with a lot of these new female rappers, there's no difference. They're all rapping about coochie and stripping and everything else. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip really quick. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Yeah. And do you, well, yeah, you mentioned other female rappers. Do you have a favorite right now in the rap game? Cardi B, Nicki, Females. Megan yeah. Thee Stallion. Um, stand out to you? Uh, I can't really say. <laughs> Not a Cardi B fan? I have a, no, but you know the reason why I can't say is because I feel like they're all rapping about the same thing. And I don't feel like that. I don't think they're showing us who's the best rapper. I think they're trying to show, for me, um, it's, it's like strippers rapping. And I don't, I don't, as far as rap goes, I don't, I'm not getting who is the best rapper. I'm getting like, okay, you got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. Okay. All right. Who's getting ready to, who's right. going to be the rapper? So, something so different. Yeah. Well, what's I, the different, what is the thing that you want to see if you're not like. Just more. I mean, I feel like at some point somebody's going to have to break out of that mode and just show us, a, you know, talk about other things, like rap, just rap about other things besides All right, so that. you guys just saw what Jermaine Dupri had to say. So, of course, once word got back to Cardi B, honey, you know Cardi B can't stay off the net. She always got to rant about something. So this is what Cardi B had to say. She feels like, you know what, at the end of the day, her coochie's her best friend. And it's the people who support that. Like, don't blame them. Blame yourselves because y'all are the ones supporting that type of music. You guys are not supporting the female artists who rap about real things besides sex and stripping. So y'all go ahead and check out her videos. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Guys, so I have seen a lot of people, right, that nowadays female rappers only talk about their pussy and shit. And now that Jermaine Dupri bring it up, now I'm going to say something about it, right? First of all, I rap about my pussy because she's my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And second of all, it's because it seems like that's what people want to hear. I ain't even going to front because let me tell you something. When I did be careful, people was talking mad shit in the beginning. Like, what the fuck is this? This is not what I expected. I expected this. I expected that. So it's like, if that's what people ain't trying to hear... Then, alright, then I'm gonna start rapping about my pussy again. And second of all, there's a lot of female rappers that be rapping their ass off and don't be talking about their pussy and don't be talking about, you know, getting down and dirty. And y'all don't be supporting them. Y'all don't be supporting them and they be mad dope. These bloggers don't support them. They don't give them the recognition. So don't blame that shit on us when y'all not the one that's supporting them. Okay, guys, let me tell you about some rappers that are really fucking dope that be rapping their ass off, and I don't feel like they get the recognition that they deserve. Tierra Whack, Kamaya, Rhapsody, there's this girl called Oraniku. I don't know how to say her name, I don't even know how to say my own real motherfucking name, so shit, don't blame me. But they be rapping their ass off, and I feel like we need to put these girls more in magazines, uh, blogs, blogs, blogs. Y'all need to start putting these girls on y'all blogs. Because I know y'all watching this. Put these girls more on y'all blogs. Uh, radio. DJs. Y'all need to hear these girls. Y'all need to play their music on the radio. Uh, my fans. I want you to hear these girls. Because these girls can rap their motherfucking ass off. And we need to support them. And they don't rap about David JJ. They don't rap about sucking dick. And they dope ass rappers. And let me 
honey. All right, so you guys just heard what Cardi B had to say. I'm trying to figure out where all these piercings came from. It's like, I think like a few weeks ago, she pierced her tongue. Now she got this pierced. She got that. I'm like, well, damn, what the hell? Cardi B just got all these holes in her now, okay? So anyways, I'm going to say this. I understand both parts of the argument. I see a lot of people attacking Jermaine, saying he's just a hater. This is not the 90s. Nobody's checking for the brat and all that other stuff. But I understand what Jermaine is talking about because he comes from an era where you had to talk about something. Okay, he's not a, a 2019 producer of mumble rap. He comes from an era where, where he produced music that made you feel something that still stands the test of time. Okay, you can put in an escape record right now and that shit's going to bang from start to finish. Okay. I can still listen to the entire Criss Cross album and still want to jump, jump, okay? So Jermaine is a true musician, okay? He's an all-around musician. So I definitely get what he's saying because honestly, with a lot of these new female rappers, I can't tell them apart from each other, okay? There was a, there's a whole crop of dolls. I don't know the difference between any of these dolls. There's an Asian doll, a black doll, a white doll, a China doll. Damn it, what else? There's a, I, I don't know, there's a Cuban doll. There are all these damn dolls. And then when you listen to their music, they're all talking about the same thing. I got the fattest pussy. It's the wettest pussy. I done fucked all these niggas. I got them for their bag. I'm a stripper. I can make my ass clap. You, you, it's like, it's just all the same shit, okay? So I definitely understand where he's coming from. There's not a lot of mainstream popular women that are rapping about real shit, okay? So now I also see where Cardi B's coming from because again, it's the people. Like I always tell you on this channel, the way things go viral, the way things, you know, trend, it's all based on what the people support and watch. It's no different than what I do here. When I talk about serious topics, when I talk about political topics, they don't get no damn views. But guess what? They take me the same amount of time to research, edit, and put together. It takes the same amount of time to do that, just like it takes the same amount of time to just talk about celebrity news and celebrity gossip. So am I going to make more videos about serious stuff or political stuff if nobody's watching it or sharing it, as opposed to the celebrity news where I know that that's what people watch? I mean, that's just common sense. I'm not going to waste my time making content that people are not going to support and watch. You're going to make content that people gravitate towards. And unfortunately, we live in a day and age where people gravitate more towards celebrity news and celebrity trending topics. That's just the truth of the matter. Okay, so what she's saying is very factual. And she's taking ownership of that, okay? She's saying that when she makes that ratchet music and she makes music talking about sex and her coochie, that's what y'all gravitate towards. That's what makes it onto the billboard. But when she talks about heartbreak and real serious stuff, Y'all wasn't feeling that. It's about what the people want. And a lot of people like that ratchet, low vibrational music. You know what I'm saying? They love that. That's what trends. That's what's on social media. That's what people mirror and copy. Now, she also went out to shout a bunch of female rappers that talk about more serious stuff, which I thought was dope. I just got put on to Tierra Whack not too long ago. My homeboy, matter of fact, he came to my son's graduation party and he came to get us and take us to dinner and he was playing and he was like, have you heard of Tierra Whack? I said, no, I haven't heard of her. So he was playing. I was like, damn, this shit goes hard. He was like, yeah, she's dope. She's from Philly. But he put me on to her. But yeah, a lot of these people, you don't really know about them because again, they're not trending. They're not on the billboard. But people like Bad Baby, you know, Daniel Bagoli, she's trending all the time. We know about her. We know about the Cardi B's. So again, it's about what people put their energy into. Now, with that being said, I also had to be honest. Can we only blame the females in hip hop for rapping about the same thing? Because last time I checked, the men rap about the same shit too. I've talked about this on my channel previously. It seems like a lot of these male rappers rap from the same fuckboy handbook. And what is the fuckboy handbook? The fuckboy rap handbook is this. We're gonna rap about killing other black men. Up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. AK 47, Mac 11, Glock and Nines, and all these pussy niggas hating, trying to knock me off my grind. We're gonna rap about fucking all types of bad bitches. I love bad bitches, that's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. We're gonna spread our seed all over the damn nation and then rant and rave on our music about crazy bay mamas. Dirty bitch. Back to the base, let's be fat. Square. I don't ever wanna see your ass. So again, we can blame everyone for the state of hip hop that it is today, okay? Not just the female rappers, because you have a lot of male rappers who are sticking to that same formula of rapping about killing, selling drugs, you know what I'm saying, fucking bad bitches. They're not deviating from that. 
So if Jermaine isn't bothered by that, then you can't get too upset about females not deviating from talking about their damn coochie and stripping. So I, you know, I definitely see both points, but me personally, I am tired of the, my coochie's so fat, my coochie's so wet, but you can't keep a man. I don't, I don't care. It's obviously not that wet and tight, bitch. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Jermaine Dupri and Cardi B's back and forth on social media concerning female rappers. Who do you side with? Do you understand where Jermaine Dupri is coming from? Because I definitely understand 100%. Or do you feel like, you know, Cardi B's right in the situation and, you know, that's what people support. And if that's what people are supporting, that's the type of music that she's going to make. And then do you agree with me that, you know what I'm saying, we can't just blame females in hip hop. We also have to look at the men as well because a lot of them rap about the same bullshit and people praise them for it. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs>